Life Network is an umbrella organization. The pregnancy centers are what we're best known for. I was 16 when I found out that I was pregnant. I never thought that it would happen to me. I was very concerned about what people would think of me. You know, as a Christian, you're not supposed to do that kind of stuff. I was scared to death. I found myself pregnant and I had just been arrested for a crime I didn't commit. After I had spent a night in jail, I took the pregnancy test because I had to know. And I had no job, no way to pay for my house, no way to feed my dogs, no way to take care of myself and my baby. And I didn't know what I was gonna do. We came into the pregnancy center and um, we met with a counselor. I came in, talked with one of the counselors and told her my story. We talked about open adoption, semi-open adoption, closed adoption, all of those things that I didn't even really know were, you know, existent. I was incredibly depressed and just overwhelmed and terrified. I spent many nights driving up and down the pass back to my house, crying, crying out to God, asking him to, to help me in this disaster that was my life. So the Colorado Springs Pregnancy Center is truly a place where a mom who feels alone is going to find a truth, she's going to find hope. This wasn't just a place to come for baby clothes and maternity clothes. It was a place where I could come and someone here cared about my situation and about my baby. I know for a fact there have been thousands of mothers who have left with hope and have left with help. And I definitely felt that way when I left here. Life Steps is another Outreach of Life Network and it is a long-term mentoring program. We talk about things like shaken baby syndrome, SIDS, and then afterwards they also meet one-on-one -on -one with their life coach. Meeting the Life Steps coaches I felt just really loved and really cared about and felt like everything that, that they did was to help me be a better parent. The guys tend to be kind of left out. When I first told my parents, my dad told me I don't know what I got myself into. And like, he doesn't really support me about it. My mom, same thing pretty much. She's just like, oh, you screwed up. They don't know what it means to be a man. They don't know what it means to be a dad. My mentor, his name's Kelly. He like helped me through everything. Some days I have those thoughts, like I'm just not ready to be a father just because I'm a teenager. They don't necessarily know what the program is about, but one thing they know is they're, they're missing somebody investing in their life. He's just been there for me, and he said I can always call him. So like if I'm frustrated, like I don't know what to do, uh, I gave him a call. We asked uh, spiritual questions, and so one thing led to another. Roy received Christ. Kelly showed me how like God's actually there. Like before, I never really thought about God, and I just started reading the Bible, and it just got better and better. I really feel like God led me to come to Life Network. I not only found material things I needed for myself and for my baby, but I also found a place where I was guided spiritually as well. They absolutely want and need somebody to believe in them. I've never really had my parents there, you know? They're looking for a good model of what it means. They want to be a successful dad. I don't want to leave my kid. I always want to be there. The family that I ended up choosing didn't fit my list at all. And you know, I knew that it was really God working in my life, telling me, you may have a plan, but I have a whole different one for you. Life has taught me about being a dad is never to give up and always be there. I ended up going into labor on my dad's 50th birthday. After she was born, I got to spend the whole entire day with Emily. Um, my Kanana came to Colorado. They were here by 7 o'clock that night, so I had the whole entire day, which that ended up being a blessing in disguise. It was really special. I was completely enamored with him. He's just the most perfect, precious, lovable little baby, and he's just amazing. 
when I was getting ready to leave the hospital. I needed a minute with her, and so uh, I asked if I could have that minute with her, and we sat with her, and I held her in my arms, and you know, I whispered, I love you, and I will always love you, and we gave her a kiss, and I just held her knowing that in just a few minutes, you know, she would leave. We are helping to save lives, but the most important thing is that Jesus Christ is absolutely the center of everything we do. God taught me that um, He's always there, and I may not feel Him there. God has really shown me that, you know, that I don't have to know all the answers. I have to just trust in Him every day, and that I just have to love this little boy and, and love Him, and that He'll make a way. Emily, she's beautiful. She's growing up so happy and she's growing up in, I think, the most perfect place that she could have ever been. I know that God has, a, has an answer for me, that his love for me hasn't ever changed, that he's always been there and that he always will be and that he has a plan for me and that he has a plan for my baby. And that he will make brighter days. When I finally, when I finally meet the Lord face to face, I know that, that He will always say to me over and over again, well done, well done. I know, I know I did His work with this choice.